Welcome to the Fast Forward Show. Today, we are going to be covering what will be the new normal on events. Since the pandemic started, the events industry has suffered tremendously. And the big question is, what's going to be happening? So if you want to find out more, make sure that you keep on watching. Make sure that you smash the uh, subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you do not miss anything. Let's just start with this video, which is just going to be telling us what's the perception of what's going to be happening on the uh, events industry. Have a look. When you think about the, the distance between what used to happen as a normal event and what we have to do now, it's like some space age thing. Uh, and it's not, it's right here, right now. Yesterday I was uh, researching in YouTube what was the industry doing and uh, the latest uploads were all the way from April. There's nothing of people telling you, well, what's going to be happening in the uh, events industry? And that's why I think everybody's still very confused. Now, I have a theory, and this is going to be more or less a theory that I want to present to you guys, because I think it's what makes sense for me, and I'm sure it's going to be also making a lot of sense for you, Dave. But before we do that, let me just show you a very interesting video that I found from a guy called Brett Kolb. And uh, I recommend you to to uh, search him because to research him because he's an, a very very interesting filmmaker, and this was his last keynote. It was done on March 16th, basically the day after the whole pandemic started, and uh, it was done for the event organizers uh, organization or whatever it's called. Just have a look, and you're gonna see how interesting the premonitions of what was going to be happening uh, will show there. Have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the stage. Mic one is live. Happy birthday! Stage lights up. And now please welcome, for the very first time, we're on in five, four, three. A hundred million moments. This is the canvas upon which you create. It's chaotic and competitive. It's layered and loud, and it carries on at a pace so fast that some days it seems unmanageable. A hundred million ideas. These are the tools of your art, making the unseen a reality. And so you create with to-do lists that go on forever, endless revisions from clients who seem impossible to please running from one event to another with hardly a moment to take a breath or sleep in your own bed. Often thankless, often fleeting, sometimes forgotten. Through late nights in rooms lit only by the glow of your laptop, in boardrooms where no one else understands the majestic vision you see 
so clearly. In ballrooms, where everyone rushes and rallies and refuses to slow down. And yet, my friends, it all matters. With your effort and your heart and your skill together, you envision events that become unforgettable memories for those who actually pause to witness and for those who just get lost in the moment. Though they may never know your name, countless people will experience inspiration, delight, and elegance because of your passion. In a time that can seem overwhelmed with darkness, you choose to showcase the glories, to bring order to the chaos, to express the true flavor of being alive. You remind all of us, for just a few moments, of the beauty in ourselves. And you help us rekindle the light we've lost. In a world that seems to always destroy, you create. With careful focus and detail, you sculpt an experience with light and color, movement and sound, taste and texture. You craft feelings and share ideas. You illuminate the art around us and within us that is so often missed. Your work adds to a tapestry of dreams, a canvas of creativity that brings into focus our celebrations and achievements and victories. Consider the collective brilliance gathered in this room today, the imagination represented in the hundred million moments that you have designed. Imagine the landscape ahead, filled with wonder and magic and light. In your heart, pause with me right now to witness those hundred million moments. Then look with me into the next series of masterpieces that will be born because of your effort. And celebrate with me, dear friends, because this beauty matters. So yeah, this is uh, this is the world where we're in. We're completely in a world in in um, total change. The events industry is uh, gone in chaos. So the question is, what's going to happen? It's an incredible question because the challenge is there's so many elements that got comfortable with just rolling out an event. People come along, put some entertainment on, feed them, make sure the tickets are good. And it was a system that they're constantly trying to tweak. But what if you can't have people? What if you can't do it like that anymore? And uh, I know that all across the world in the entertainment industry, in the events industry, they try to tweak it and get back to as close to normality as they can do. And I don't think that's the right direction, but we'll be sharing some different directions in today's show. What we would like to know is, what do you think is going to happen with the events industry? Once again, I definitely believe that we're going to go into a hybrid world where we are going to see uh, smaller events, more local events, because of course the travel is going to be uh, affected. Uh, these events are also going to become bigger because, of course, you're going to have a bigger audience. Uh, I believe that uh, most of the speakers are going to be doing presentations and they're going to be also offering their back-end products. Uh, I definitely see this being with us for the uh, next uh, couple of years. I don't think that we will go back to what we were before. I also, for example, some of the things that I was envisioning is, let's say, if there's going to be big uh, fairs or exhibitions, uh, everything will be more more uh, distance. I mean, like uh, in the World Trade Center there in Dubai or in the uh, uh, Messe in Frankfurt or when any on the Rye in Amsterdam, those big uh, conference halls or, or, or convention centers, they're going to be uh, there's going to be like traffic uh, jams so that people are not uh, they're they're not all together with each other. So there's a lot of reinvention and reengineering which is uh, happening. Right now, I think the place where we can see how things are going to be developing, let's look at um, sports, for example. Uh, as of tomorrow, 
baseball starting again, and they're going to be incorporating uh, video um, uh, videos so everybody can watch from their homes. But they're going to be incorporating uh, uh, game sounds. So, like if they, you will be playing a, a video game into the stadium, so so also to motivate the players. Uh, in Disneyland, they have different ways of seeing. So my take is always try to see what's going on in uh, some industries so that you can see how it's going to be integrated into another industry right now it's very very interesting times yeah i, I actually hosted a conference uh, a couple of days ago on sports tech and it was all about the use of edge technology and 5g so the simple things are that you can now see all the different security areas you can check with artificial intelligence etc when the hot dogs are running low and all the rest of it that's all standard but one of the things is about when you're piping in the sound to the players they actually hate it in british football they've turned around and said we hate this noise around us we'd much rather just play without but of course watching from home is different but the beauty of the 5G technology, which means that you can reach anywhere with almost anything, is they're going to enable fans to be able to log onto an app and shout at their phone, comment on their phone, do what they want, and the 5G will enable that sound to happen right in front of the stadium. So you'll actually have the best part of 10,000 people, if there's 10,000 fans, or a million if you've got them all around the world, all contributing their sound of cheering, booing, whatever you'd normally get, being pumped into the stadium. And that's just the beginning, because the technology already exists for doing holograms. So you may see Michael Jackson or, or, or Tony Robbins performing as holograms around the world. That's been dormant for, for quite a few years. You will have football matches and sports events where in your living room, with the right projections and the right lighting, you'll be able to look down and see the whole thing happening in your living room. And that's already available when we get the 5G and we get the edge technology stepped up across everyone's home. So I think you wouldn't want it to go back when you've got that kind of opportunity, but we just need to make sure the gap between now and then, people can earn money and grow. Yeah. So once again, let us know what your thoughts are right now. We're just speculating a lot. Please make sure to leave your comments just down here. Make sure uh, to subscribe and make sure to click the notification bell because we're going to be telling you a lot more about what's going to be happening in the event industry. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure you watch one of these two videos afterwards. And Ernesto, what, why are you staring up on top of my head? Dave, your hair is actually thinning out. Well, if it is, it's about the only thing getting thin on this show. Here on this side, we have some more amazing videos for you to watch.